In this video, we are going to learn about the staining calculations for Baha ATV. In the previous video, we have seen that uh, how a geometry is made. We made certain assumptions like the steering arm, the length of the steering arm, the steering arm angle, which came out to be 44.2 degrees as per our assumption. We assumed the inner angle to be 31.5 degrees and uh, the wheelbase for the vehicle initially we assumed as 54 inches and the track width to be 51 inches length of the rack to be 14.1 inches here, here you can see in the box the assumptions we have made uh, we have taken the KPI distance from the tire center to be 4.1 inches so the pivoted distance that is the distance between the two kingpin axes is the distance between the two points where the tie rods are attached comes out to be 42.18 inches that is uh, the track width minus two times the kpi distance uh, from this formula here we can calculate the inner angle the ideal inner angle for ackerman uh, for our assumed outer angle that is 31.5 degrees Okay, this uh, this condition here checks as we have calculated from this formula. This is the ratio of pivoted distance to the wheelbase. So we have I have uh, attached in the description the Excel sheet of these formulae, and you can simply put the values and get uh, the required other values for the calculation. I'll show that in after in the end of this video. Here we get the ideal angles to be 49.99 degrees and 31.5 degrees. Whereas after the geometry, we get the inner angle as 54.56 degrees. Okay, and the center of mass from the radius of turning from center of the mass to be 1.4 meters. We calculate the Ackermann value, which is given by this this formula, tan inverse. Uh, wheelbase upon wheelbase upon tan of the angle of inner turning minus the track width which comes out to be 55.495 and we calculate the Ackermann percentage as actual inner turning angle to the Ackermann okay which comes out to 20 uh, 98.315 percent the rack travel we get from the geometry as 1.54 inches and the lock to lock rack travel comes out to be two times this value that is when the vehicle is turned from extreme left to the extreme right okay and uh, we assume the steering wheel turning as 180 degrees like half the revolution uh, for half the revolution we get the rack travel of 3.088 inches like for half a revolution of steering wheel we can turn our vehicle from the extreme left to the extreme right we calculate the C factor, which is the ratio of these two values, 3.08 and half revolution, which comes out to be as 156.85 mm per revolution. From this value, we calculate the staining ratio, the diameter of the pinion, the teeth on the rack, the teeth on the pinion. Okay, the staining ratio comes out to be 2.09 is to 1. This is just the value. We will not be needing this value anywhere else. For gears, the module of teeth, the module times teeth equals the diameter of the gear. We assume the module as 2 because it requires less space and the gear has a less lesser weight. We calculate the teeth of the pinion where C factor is given by 2 times pi times radius of the pinion. Therefore, the diameter of the pinion comes out to be 50 mm. Okay, approximately 50 mm, 49.9 is 50 mm. We keep the value in this formula T is equal to D by 2 that comes out to be 24.95 that is 25 teeth. Similarly for the rack we keep the value of teeth equal to diameter of pinion upon module which comes out to be 25. So the final values we here get as teeth on the rack is 25, uh, teeth on pinion is 25. As we have discussed, the module is taken as 2 because it uh, requires less space and has less weight. The pressure angle for the gear will be 20 degrees as it has less interference and more strength. And the face width is 12 mm. Okay, diameter of pinion we have discussed. So, for talking about the 
steering calculations excel sheet i have attached this excel sheet in the description box you can download it from there and just keep the values for wheelbase track width kpi distance outer turning radius angle you will be getting the value of this inner turning angle calculate this ackerman will be calculated ackerman percentage will be calculated keep this steering arm angle as per your assumption and steering arm length as per your assumption you will be getting this tie rod value from the geometry you have made and this drag travel value from the geometry you have made and uh, all this will you will get from the geometry this value and this is calculated from the angle you got from the geometry these both values will be getting from the geometry you have made previously okay so this is basically all about the calculations you can find the attached calculation sheet and perform your iterations keep changing the values keep making the geometries keep getting the values until you reach the desired ackerman percentage which should be near about 94% to 98% and uh, not only you have to get the ackerman highest but your turning radius should be as low as possible assume outer angles take other values of outer angles steering arm length steering arm angles and uh, reach according reach for a best value according to your wheelbase your track width and other specifications